Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette. And guys, I just wanted to hop in in person for a little bit just to thank you guys for all your support and for all your comments uh, for two years now. Guys, my diamond painting stash detox. Two years I've been going, can you imagine? Okay, if you're new here and you're like, what is a diamond painting stash detox? Well, I'm trying to work through my entire diamond painting stash without buying new diamond paintings. I've been going for two whole years now and uh, last year after the one year mark I did a video of all my finishes of the first year and I managed to finish 22 diamond paintings and now at the beginning of November two year mark so time for another video of finishes and this year I managed to finish 23 diamond paintings so I personally always love these kinds of videos. I hope you do too. It's a great way to see what I've been working on the last year. And guys, well, I started at 52 diamond paintings at the start. Uh, 22 finished in last year and 23 this year. That's 45. So 52 minus 45 is only 7 to go. And then I will have worked through my entire stash. <laughs> yes, okay, and next week I'll have another video for you where I show you those seven that I still need to finish. And uh, well, I hope you follow along. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, maybe this is the moment to subscribe. I would love to have you as a follower. And guys, let's go and check out these 23 finishes. Are you ready? Let's go. So right guys, 23 finishes to look at today. So grab yourself a cup of coffee. As you may know from the olden days, the ones of you who have been following along with me for a long time know that I always need my coffee. So I got myself a cup of coffee. I got all my diamond paintings and uh, well guys, it was quite a challenge to get them all together. I well, I, I keep them in boxes, in a, in a closet, uh, but of course they're not in the correct boxes because, well, that would be too logical and that's just not my style. I'll just put them in wherever, <laughs> whatever box is available. Um, and I didn't even remember which ones I had worked on the previous year. So it is fun for me. I have seen them all, of course, when I was trying to get them together. But it's so much fun to see them again. And we're starting off with a beautiful one. <laughs> um, kitchen Helpers from Randall Spangler. A square from Diamond Art Club. 56 by 69 centimeters. I will zoom you out a little bit. Look, so you can see the entire diamond painting. Oh, guys. This is the one and only uh, Randall Spangler that I have in my stash. I can already promise you that post-detox that will change. Um, I didn't know how I was going to feel about working on uh, the draglings. I'm not uh, particularly fond of, of dragons or, or things like that, but these canvases and I think all the Randall Spanglers, uh, for, as far as I can see of all the unboxings that I have seen uh, of fellow creators, uh, the color palette is always really fun. The rendering is, oh, it's perfect. This kind of artwork is perfect for the way that Diamond Art Club renders. Uh, what I particularly like about this one is look, all the pots and pans in the back. They did a really good job. And of course the books. I love the draglings. I love this subject. Um, it's just... It is, it is stunning. And look at the cookies over here. A really fun diamond painting to work on. Um, two uh, AB drills, special drills. A blue and a green. And of course the green is in the dragons. And the blue is just a little bit throughout. Um, I didn't spark this thing up with extra drills that you could easily do with the gems over here. For example. But I don't bling out 
uh, diamond paintings. That's that's not my uh, strong point. <laughs> Let's just I like to follow along, and that will well. I'll explain that with the uh, with the next diamond painting. It will make more sense. But this was my first finish of my second year of detox. Kitchen helpers from Randall Spangler. Love it. Especially this with this little hand. <laughs> okay, the next. <sighs> there she is. Mini Lucky. Josephine Wall from Heaven and Earth Design. This was my cross stitch conversion. And guys, even looking at it now, I'm really, really proud of myself <laughs> that I did this one. Yes, I'm just applauding myself. <laughs> I'm so humble. I'm so humble. Um, no, this, guys, it was... This was such a difficult project. This was such a difficult project. Oh, even looking at it now, it, it comes back to me. Um, in the entire detox, I think I struggled the most with this project. Um, I really underestimated it. Um, this is a cross stitch conversion. So that means that the, the canvas was blank. There were just grids. Um, I'll put a photo in screen so you can see what that looks like and uh, I used the paper version um, well just to make the pattern just like with cross stitch uh, why did I use the paper pattern first of all because I'm stubborn and I just wanted to, sh to, to know if I could do it I hadn't seen that done before uh, you've got um, the device pattern keeper uh, that's an app, uh, but that doesn't work on Apple devices and I have an Apple device and I didn't want to buy another tablet um, just for a cross stitch pattern project. Um, that would have made it easier, I'm sure, um, but I did the paper version. It took me a lot of time, a lot of effort. I what I really, really love about cross stitch conversion is that you have, well, it opens up an entire other world because you can do all the cross stitch patterns that are out there. And if you look just on the website of Heaven and Earth Designs, there are so many cross stitch patterns on there and those aren't, a lot of them aren't available as diamond paintings. So if you want to do something that's really unique, um, and I like that, then that is a perfect way. What I shouldn't have done is pick a Josephine wall. Um, I just thought I really enjoyed my Josephine wall that I did from Diamond Painting Deutschland, which is called Choix de Vivre, and that's a, a 220 color diamond painting. And that was only the fourth um, diamond painting that I ever did. And that was a massive undertaking, but I really enjoyed that. And well, that made me a bit uh, cocky <laughs> to think that I could do it um, with this project as well. This has 90 colors, so I thought, well, that's, that's not a whole lot of colors compared to 220. And I thought this one, because this one isn't available in a diamond painting and I thought it would be a lovely companion piece to the Joie de Vivre because the wings are the same and I have a feeling that the, the lady is the same um, and otherwise it's her sister and I also really like the special meaning of this one with the clover mini lucky that she has in her hand and the wing is beautiful and the color palette is beautiful so I just thought I'm going to do a cross stitch conversion. How hard can it be? <clears throat> Turns out really hard. <laughs> I don't think cross stitch conversions per se are very difficult. I just think you need to be, no, scratch that. You can do whatever you want. I, for myself, should have picked an easier pattern. 
I should have picked like for instance a Mike Jelena or a Hannah Lynn or a, a Mandy Manzano with that stained glass that you like um, you do the outlining and then you color it in I think that would be uh, much more enjoyable to work on as a cross stitch conversion because then you've got the black outline and then you can color that part in and then continue um, I worked on this for a couple of months I think um, it's a 82 by 65 centimeters uh, I did it page per page and then at the end it got really really difficult because I had a lot of drills that came off and I wanted to put them back in so I went over the entire diamond painting again to put drills in uh, if you want to know how this project went I'll put a link up in the eye so you can check out the entire playlist but it's also in the description below this video um, or go to the playlist uh, Heaven and Earth Designs project and you will find it or Josephine Wall on my um, channel yeah it is beautiful it even when I look at it now it is stunning you need the 90 colors to get the all the detail the hair and the wing it's it's beautiful but even the bottom part look with the flower and the uh, flower the butterfly and the flowers and here the butterflies with her around her head and then the rainbow over there it is a beautiful piece um, it's unique I haven't seen it anywhere so but will I do a cross stitch conversion again well not very soon <laughs> never say never but if I were to do another cross stitch conversion it would be a princess panel from Manny Manzano first of all because I like the length and the width of those kinds of diamond paintings the, the panel sizes and um, I've done a couple of the princess panels as a diamond painting the discontinued version those work up really nicely and I think uh, because now you've got the canvases with the grid lines but then you've got the numbers uh, on there as well um, so you've got a 10 by 10 grid but it's with numbers so it's easier to to work up uh, maybe I'll do that. I know that Jade Gem Shop she does um, sell the canvases with the drills, and then you can get the pattern for those princess panels with uh, on Etsy uh, from the web shop uh, Creatively Stitching. Maybe I'll do that um, one day, not anytime soon. This one put me off um, cross stitch conversions. And why? Well guys, the main reason is um, you need to count. It's a, This is more like um, you need to concentrate and to focus and normal diamond paintings uh, are just, well I can watch television, I can listen to podcasts and with this I really needed to focus on the diamond painting so uh, I could listen to a little bit of music uh, in the background but I couldn't um, listen to podcasts or, or uh, YouTube videos or anything like that because I needed to focus. Um, so it's just a whole other kind of craft. That's, that's, I think that's what I, my conclusion is. And for me, I prefer just to diamond paint away and let my thoughts go and just, well, okay. The easier stuff let's just say it like that so she's stunning I'm really happy I did that I'm really happy that she's finished um, oh and what I did is afterwards as you can see it's very I can't bend it because I um, sealed it because of the popping drills and even now when I look at it really critically I can see a couple of drills have come off I'm not going to put them back I'm just going to put this away maybe I will take it out one more time at the end of my detox when maybe I will do a show of all the 52 finishes if you guys would like that but uh, otherwise she <laughs> she's going back in the closet and I'm not going to touch her anymore okay on to the next 
Bookworm girl! Oh, <laughs> it's so good to see her again. I love her. Bookworm girl from Willowing Arts, 51 by 71 centimeters, Diamond Art Club, round drills, 54 colors. And well, this is my favorite Willowing Arts of all time. I really hope that Diamond Art Club would bring it, and they did. And I'm so glad that I have her and I was able to finish her. Um, Willow, this one is no longer available on Diamond Art Club. Um, but maybe you can get her in a D stash. She's so much fun to work on, on and it works up really quickly. This is all line blocking. The background is a, a lot of confetti, but you need that just to make this painting a little bit more interesting. I really, really loved working on it, but I love Willowing Arts. I have said that last week in my monthly check-in. I've done a couple of Willowing Arts, but this one is my favorite of all time. So I'm really happy that I have done her. And I really hope the Diamond Art Club is going to bring out some more Willowing Arts in the future. Okay, on to the next. Okay, and the fourth finish is the Blue Fairy from Manny Manzano Diamond Art Club, 31 colors and two ABs. And well, this is the stained glass feel, guys. This, these kinds of diamond paintings, these and the, oh, sorry. And the Randall Spangler uh, kind of diamond paintings are the perfect, perfect style for Diamond Art Club rendering. And the only thing about this one is, this is one of those from her series where there isn't a face. <laughs> and a lot of people find that spooky. Uh, I totally understand that, but I didn't find it a problem with this one. But I, well, I do get it. <laughs> but look at the, this part is really beautiful. And then here is Pinocchio. And it's just really, really beautifully done and so much fun. It works up so quickly, these kinds of things. And I do the outline first and then color in the rest. And that works perfectly. Okay, this is finish number four. Let's go on to finish number five. Okay, <laughs> this is a really odd one. The odd one out in my collection. This is a partial. Look. And the background is really great because it sparkles like crazy and it's got a really weird like sandpaper feel. This is a Diamond Dots, the blue vase. I was so intrigued by this series because there are three of them. The blue one, the green one and the red one. Although the red one actually looks orange to me, but okay. And they have... So many cool special drills, look, these, and then in here, uh, the, the drills and the glitter is just fantastic, and I really, really love this one. It doesn't bother me that it's a partial, I'm not a partial fan, but with this one I think they did an excellent, excellent job. It's a, a 60 by 60 centimeter, but they say that the design size is 52 by 52. Well, okay. And it has 23 colors, but in those three co uh, 23 colors, they say they have three special drills. Well, the special drills are actually what they mean with real special drills, like these, these pearls and the, the large pearls. And then all the ABs, like for instance in here, all the gold and all the blue and the silver they don't count them as special drills they just that's just one of the 20 so this one had a lot of special drills it worked up really quickly it was really nice and it makes me want to get the other two as well but uh, since I'm on a stash detox that won't be possible <laughs> Okay, so this was a diamond dots. On to the next. Okay, another uh, bit out of the box kind of diamond painting. Chakra Lotus, 56 by 50 centimeters round 
from Diamond Arts Club, seven colors. Um, and there's one special drill and that's the light blue. Those are actually glow in the dark drills. I don't get glow in the dark drills. They don't do anything for me. I'm not like, okay, I'm going to try it out. I'm just, I was glad that I had finished this. This was not fun for me at all. A lot of black, it works up really quickly, but, um, and it looks nice. And I think the details in here, for example, those are great, but uh, no, not my kind of diamond painting. I won't be choosing these kinds of diamond paintings going forward, uh, but it is something else. It's just another special one in my entire collection. So this was the sixth finish. Now let's go on to the next and that's a beautiful one. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I love everything about this diamond painting. Um, this is a 50 by 50 centimeters Leoba Bruckner. Uh, it's called Arduina and it has 40 colors. It's one of the older canvases of DIY Moonshop where they had the perfect rendering for the face. This is what made me fall in love with DIY Moonshop at the time when I started diamond painting. Um, okay, long story short, DIY Moonshop changed up a couple of things um, during the uh, after I had bought these, um, which created problems with the rendering in the faces. Uh, and I'll show you that later on with later finishes in this video. Um, but this is what I loved about the DR Moonshop. They had a perfect rendering for watercolor style portraits. That's what made them stand out for me. And DIY Moonshop uh, no longer exists. The company was bought by Diamond Painting Fanatics and Cindy, the new owner, she's going to do her own thing. And I hope she's going to do wonderful things uh, with, the, with the new company. Um, Leoba Bruckner, this artist, one of my favorite artists, she's now licensed with Jada Gem Shop. Um, and I really like the rendering style that Jade has, so I'm not worried at all about the Leoba Bruckner diamond paintings that she is bringing out. So this one is definitely one of my favorites and it's the seventh finish of my second year of detox. On to the next. Oh, <laughs> this one's so much fun. Oh. Uh, 35 colors round. She believed she could from Lisa Francis Judd from Diamond Arts Club. 52 by 52 centimeters, so kind of a... It, it felt like, when I was working on it, it felt like a snack size. I love the color palette. It had such a positive message. You can really read the words because I don't like words in diamond paintings because I always feel that, well, if they aren't rendered properly, you can't read them properly, but um, I, I'm just not a big fan of words in, in diamond paintings. I don't know why, but she believed she could. You can read that perfectly. The beautiful bird, the fun colors, and I really, I really enjoyed this one. Nothing but happy memories when I look at this one. Okay, the next. Okay, here we have a beautiful little girl. Jolie Fleur from Distracted by Diamonds, uh, 30 colors square, and this is the only diamond painting that I have in my stash that I didn't pick out myself. All the other ones are diamond paintings that I had bought myself. This is the only one that I didn't buy myself. Um, and how did that happen? Well, I ordered another one from this company, and you will see that later on in this video because I have finished her in um, this year as well. Uh, these are Distracted Darlings from Distracted by Diamonds and I had ordered Feathered Friends. So that's the other one. Uh, but when I opened the box, this one was inside. So I was like, uh-oh. So I contacted the owner, Robin, and I said, um, I got the wrong canvas. And she said, oh, I'm so sorry. And they sent the correct one to me and they said, well, you can keep the other one. So I finished her 
She was actually really fun to work on. A bit cartoonish. Uh, okay, maybe I wouldn't have bought her myself, but I'm really glad that she's part of my stash. And she's a great friend to Feathered Friends, <laughs> the other one from Distracted by Diamonds. In case you don't know, Distracted by Diamonds is a uh, company that you can find on Etsy that's called Paddy Wax as well. Uh, 30 colors, did I say that already? Yeah, 30 colors square. Oh, and the size, sorry, the size is fifty two by sixty eight centimeters. Really fun. I really like the hair. It was fun to work on this one that I remember. And this is finish number ten. Are you still with me? Okay, go and get another cup of coffee and let's go on to the next one. Right, and this colorful lady is Love That Ore from Willowing Arts and Diamond Arts Club. Another round, 46 by 66 centimeters, 57 colors, so that's a lot of color. Um, and it had uh, one, two, three, four ABs. And well, this is the result of 57 colors. It's a really beautiful piece. Normally I don't like um, AB drills in skin tones, but with this one it just works. And I always love the little parts. I just, I just love Willowing Arts. And guys, I just noticed that I've shown you a lot of round drills in a row. And I hadn't even... That's just something I'm like, okay, I did a lot of rounds. But I think that after Mini Lucky, the cross stitch conversion I was like okay I need to take a break I need to do some simpler work because guys rounds work up so much faster than the squares and even though I'm a big fan of squares I might have a slight preference for squares I do like the way rounds work up really quickly and let me just show you the top guys of those flowers well yeah and I don't think this one is available anymore. I think uh, there are only two Willowing Arts that are still available at Diamond Art Club. And I think uh, it's the fox and the elephant, so none of the ladies. So please, Diamond Art Club, if you hear this, bring back some ladies. Because they are beautiful and fun to work on. That's important as well. Okay, on to the next. So this is one of the most beautiful pieces that I have ever seen in diamond painting form. Uh, also an old DIY moon shop. Claudia Tremblay, butterflies on her mind. This is what brought me to Diamond Art, oh, diamond art Club, DIY moon shop. Unfortunately, no longer available. Claudia Tremblay is legally licensed with Diamond Art Club now. Um, but this, the rendering style, the face, this is all, this is all perfect in every, everything is right about this diamond painting. I absolutely love it. And, uh, well, I'm not going to go on the DRI Moonshop brand again, but uh, guys, this is, if I could do this diamond painting, this kind of rendering, this kind of images, uh, from now on and no other diamond painting anymore No problem <laughs> Tell me where to sign I uh, I'm I'm here for it. I Look at all those beautiful butterflies the hair the face. It's 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 perfect. I have No other word for it, but uh, I raved about this one From the start even without drills on it. I you could just hang it in your house Um I don't hang my diamond paintings in my house, but if I did, this one and another one that you will see at the end, also a DIY moon shop, those were the kinds of images that I would hang in my house. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, perfect. This one, this diamond painting is perfect. And this is finish number 12. Finish number 13, Adeline from Micah Jelena. Oh, and Butterflies on Her Mind. 
Oh, the the size. Well, I don't. I think it's a 50 by 60 or 50 by 70. I don't. I don't know exactly. This is an 80 by 70, so this is a biggie. This is a square, uh, 56 colors. And guys, well, as I have said this summer, because I know that I did this during the summer months, I really loved working on this one. Her trousers are really fun. Her wings. The drills were not the best quality, but guys, just remember that I'm working with older Diamond Art Club canvases and I had a bit of a problem with the with the 310, the black drills. This one had two special drills, uh, AB drills, sorry, because nowadays when you say special drills, it can be fairy dust diamonds or things like that. Well, when I bought diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club, there weren't any fairy dust. We only had ABs and we were really happy to have ABs. And well, normally there would be one or two. And nowadays it's four diamond, uh, AB diamonds and up and special drills and all those cool things that I'm going to experience once my detox is over. <laughs> But I really love the little bird on her shoulder. Well, everything about this diamond painting is fun. It was really fun to do. Um, I did the, the background first and then I did Adeline last. A lot of fun to do. And this one is still available at Diamond Art Club. And I can really recommend this one. 80 by 70 centimeters square. Finish number 13. Then I have a little snack size, <laughs> a, a, a little small diamond painting round just for fun, totally different from my other diamond paintings. This is from Jazz Higgins and um, she uh, uh, does her own diamond paintings, um, 40 by 55 centimeters. Uh, I bought this, it's from an Australian artist. And she had a couple of her artworks made into diamond paintings. Well, it was just fun. It worked up really quickly and it's just cute. But that's it. Just, <laughs> just cute. But I really, really love the way it turned out. And her artwork, well, as I say, it, it lends itself really good for diamond painting. Okay, this is finish number 14. A little small one. Then I did the kiss from Gustav Klimt, um, 64 by 80 centimeter from Diamond Dots because there are multiple versions out there. This is a partial or at least they call it a partial because you don't drill this part and I'm well I'm happy about that. A lot of special drills especially in here, a lot of gold. Um, I did the woman in gold from Gustav Klimt as well. I think I did that one. Did I do that one before my stash detox or was it during my first year of stash detox? I can't remember, but I did it. Um, and I really uh, loved the end result of the woman in gold, uh, but I didn't enjoy the process. That one was from Diamond Dots as well. This one I really enjoyed because you've got more color alterations and what's fun with this diamond painting you can easily do smaller sections so you do this part and then you do this part and also all the special drills that are in this one guys look it's really cool and you've got 35 colors it's around 35 colors plus eight special drills and the special drills are these cube kind of things. And then in the normal drills, what they call normal drills, all the gold and silver colors. So like this, that's all, they count them as normal drills, but uh, all the other companies would call that crystals or special drills. But with diamond dots, <laughs> they only, call the really special ones like these special drills but look this is a cool one to see up close so i'll just 
Yeah, guys, I can really recommend this one if you like special drills. This is fun to work on. I prefer, personally, I prefer this one over Woman in Gold. Um, yeah, just fun and fun to do. So, finish number 14. And then, oh, there she is. The Gypsy Fortune Teller. Oh, she's so big and she's so stunning. Oh, Cheryl Baker. Oh, this is my one and only Craftably. This is my loophole diamond painting. For those of you who have been following my stash detox know that once I reached the halfway point of my entire stash detox, I was able to buy one diamond painting. That was my loophole. So that was the one and only diamond painting that I permitted myself to buy during the entire detox. And I chose this one. And what a great choice. I love this diamond painting. This was so much fun to work on. It's so big. But look at her face. The Gypsy Fortune Teller, Cheryl Baker from Craftably, a square with 65 colors. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six ABs in this one. I love her. <laughs> oh, this was such a great choice. Um, I, this is the one and only Craftably that I own. And I have worked on and I loved every second of it. Great drills, great rendering, great canvas. Everything was perfect. Can't recommend this one highly enough. Look at all the detail that's in here. It's, and I can't put it all in frame. That's why I keep it keep going up and down. But just look in the bottom side alone. Look at all that detail and then... You go up, oh, I just, stunning. I love, 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 love this one. And the size, um, let me just check. Okay, it's 78 by 114 centimeters. So this is really a biggie. But I loved every second of it and the, the detail in it is Perfect. Just look, just, sorry, I need to put it up close just so, oh, she's so heavy. Look. How cool. How cool. So if you have this one in your stash, you're so lucky. You're so, so lucky because I don't think this one is available anymore. I know that Cheryl Baker is legally licensed with Diamond Art Club. They have brought some beautiful pieces from her. This one isn't among them, but maybe in the future they will bring this one as well and will go and grab it. I'm just really happy that I got the Craftably version because I absolutely love the way this one worked up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful and perfect choice for loophole diamond painting. Okay, on to the next. Are you still with me guys? We're getting there, we're getting there. This is Feathered Friends. So this was the Distracted by Diamonds, Distracted Darling that I had actually ordered because I just loved her sweet little face with the three doves that are in here. Her hair is beautiful, her dress is beautiful, her face is just too cute. But you know what? With all the black of oh, black, all the white background, um, I don't like color blocking large sections. So actually Jolie Fleur, the other one, had flowers in the background. And that was more fun to work on than this one. But this one is just my favorite because of the picture. Uh, Jolie Fleur was actually nicer to work on. So that's just part of the process that you experience. Okay, there are certain paintings that I love for the look of it and paintings that I love working on and this is one that I really loved looking at, working on, less than Jolie Fleur, but still it was fun and it wasn't a lot of 
no unnecessary confetti at all so it worked up really quickly and I really like the way it came out so the rendering is really great drills were great 29 colors square feathered friends from distracted by diamonds okay on to the next yeah when i saw this one again i was like oh i don't have really good memories on this one when i look through the lens as i show it now it doesn't even look that bad but let me pull you up close this is the way the face is rendered too bad and that's such a pity because it's such a beautiful painting it's such a beautiful artwork i mean this is ocean from anna Dittman, 45 by 62 centimeters 40 colors and this is a dri moon shop and this is the newer style rendering that i just said that i had a problem with so the the first two that i showed you butterflies on her mind and which one was the other one uh, arduina those two are perfect this one was such a disappointment really it w w really was a letdown and um if i were to hang it i would totally need to change up the rendering in her face and of her skin no no this is where it went wrong for me with the R.I. Moonshot but uh, well at least you get to see the comparison the background is great the hair is great the artwork is great unfortunately I didn't like the rendering but uh, water under the bridge let's go to another topic so this is finish number 17 let's go to the next okay the 18th finish belly dancer from diamond art club 51 by 76 centimeters Evita works a square 38 colors with two ABs and guys I loved working on this diamond painting this is an artwork that I normally wouldn't go for but because of the color palette and because it just spoke to me I was like okay I'm going to try it and this convinces me that well as you have seen in all my previous videos i have a things for uh, portrait styles i like those kinds of diamond paintings but to work on i actually prefer colorful diamond paintings with lots of tiny sections like this so with all the flowers in the background and this is the perfect diamond painting for it look it's so much fun and she's so stunning and the drills were perfect so that helps but look guys all these bright and beautiful and happy colors i really 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 enjoyed working on this one oh i can totally totally recommend it finish number 18 wow belly dancer love it look at the bottom part oh, this is beautiful as well oh okay on to the next And another one that I really enjoyed working on, Gemini, Mandy Manzano, 74 by 55 centimeters. And guys, for me in this one, it's the background. Oh, loved it. Totally, oh, all the, well, the stained glass feel again. So I just did the outlining and then filled the rest up. Um, also, this is another one with the eyes that are a bit spooky for <laughs> certain people but i must say i'm totally okay with it i had a little fun with this one because i did this side first and then i did this side and normally i work row per row but i just wanted to change it up um it has 39 colors and one ab loved it gemini from mandy manzano Finish number 19 and the color palette in this one is great as well. Ooh, and then we come with this one. Huh. Okay, this was the most difficult piece for me to work on. Well, apart from the cross-stitch conversion, um, this second year of detox. 
Pink Mermaid by Credo Lusky, Distracted by Diamonds. This is another example of artwork that I absolutely love. I love the mermaids from Greta Lusky. I love her style. The end result is beautiful, but my God, what a... <sighs> Even thinking about it, I'm like, oh. Um, I had to put this one away for weeks in a row. I, I even think I put it away for months um, because I just... I had so I, I didn't have fun working on it. I didn't enjoy this piece at all. Um, I have talked about this in my monthly check-ins and a lot of you have said, well, maybe it's the unnecessary confetti because this one really made me doubt if I even like confetti and I know that I like confetti. Um, I like line blocking. I don't like large areas of color blocking that I know, but normally this Looking at it, this would be a kind of piece of like, okay, well, that's doable, but no. This one was really hard for me to work on. 40 colors and uh, no special drills in this one. Um, but as you have seen, I have done other Distracted by Diamonds that I really loved working on and they, those worked up really quickly and I really enjoyed them. Last year, in my first year, I also did a Distracted by Diamonds that I really loved. But this one, well, this just, isn't it? It is beautiful, but uh, no, no good feelings when I look at this one. Unfortunately, well, that happens once in a while. So this is finish number 20, only three to go. Well, and <laughs> you probably have those fresh in your memory because I have just shown them in my monthly check-in two weeks ago, but I'm going to show you them anyway. Okay, let's go. Here she is again, Naga from Leoba Bruckner, 69 by 60 centimeters, 45 colors. And as I have said, I love this artwork. Leoba Bruckner, that's the same one as Arduina, the first one that I showed you from Leoba Bruckner DIY Moon Shop. This is a DIY Moon Shop as well. This was the newer rendering style. That didn't go over very well because these skin tones are bad. <laughs> Let's just say it as it is. It, it, uh, I love the artwork, but the rendering of the skin is not good. The rendering of the background is perfect. The artwork is perfect, but uh, well, maybe Jada Gem Shop can bring this one out and I'm sure she'll do a good job with the rendering. The artwork is absolutely fantastic. I love Leo Bruckner. I love this artwork. But as a time, and worked up really quickly, so that was fun. But uh, the end result, hmm, the eye. She is sexy. I really, really love the artwork. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not too happy with the rendering. But Enough about that. Finish number 21. Only two to go. Are you still with me? Guys, big thumbs up if you are. And here we have Spring Beauty, legally licensed from Reagan Kubacek by Dreamer Designs. 60 by 80 centimeters square, 50 colors and one AB. And I loved working on this one. Oh, uh, the color palette, I really enjoyed. Bright, beautiful colors. Look at the bottom part with all the flowers. And then her dress and the wings and the background. The beautiful butterfly. And well, the color palette was fantastic. I enjoyed every second of it. And uh, as I have said in my monthly check-in, I have done two Dreamer design canvases in my uh, stash detox. One last year, uh, landscape Chuck Pinson, Seaside Dreams, and now this one. And both experiences were very, very positive. So I can't wait to get a Dreamer Designs canvas after my detox. This one is really cute. And yes, the skin is weird here, but this is a cartoon. You could change this up. I think that will be really easy to do. 
I'm not bothering with that, but look at the bodice. This is done. It's it's just this is really fun. Really well done. Love the rendering apart from the the skin, but that's just the cartoon. But um so that's not the uh rendering, but that's the artwork, that's just the style of the artist and uh Nothing but positive vibes when I watch at this diamond painting. Okay. Right, guys, are you ready for the last one? And then we're done. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go and get her. A very special one. What a great way to end my second year of detox. Finish number 23. I miss you. Mandy Manzano, 55 by 76 centimeter, round drill, 41 colors with two ABs. Absolutely perfect. Everything about it. I said Mandy Manzano and Diamond Art Club in this particular piece. I must say in all the pieces of Mandy Manzano, but in this piece in particular, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love everything about this. Um, this one has a very special meaning to me personally because I did this in the month of October uh, to commemorate my parents who have passed, unfortunately. And um, it was really, uh, it, it really helped me with the, the grieving process. It helped me work through things and it just shows the amazing um, ability of, of craft to help you through um, to deal with things. This for me was really, as they say it, art therapy. That's what this piece was and it will always be the most special piece that I have in my entire collection because of that. And guys, well, that's the end <laughs> of my second year of diamond painting stash detox 23 finishes i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you will give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video because that really helps and i would really like to know which one was your favorite did you have a favorite amongst all of them and which one and why and also uh, i hope that you will watch next week next wednesday because then I have the video, and that's a short video as opposed to this one. <laughs> I, I think this one will be quite lengthy, I don't know yet. I will see that when I edit this, but um, next week I have a video where I show you the remainder of my stash. Only seven diamond painting to go, guys. And one of the seven is already a whip which means a work in progress. So I have already worked on that one a little bit and that's a Mandy Manzano princess panel. Well, as you may have noticed, I love Mandy Manzano artwork and uh, yes, this one is really special. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you for today. Thanks so much for all your support and all your lovely comments uh, the last two years. I hope you will stay with me Till the end of my detox and hopefully after that as well. Don't know what post detox is going to bring me. But I'm confident that I'm going to finish my detox. And uh, only 7 to go guys. So well. Easy. Easy peasy. <clears throat> okay I hope to see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. And until my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>